Well, 1 to 25. I tell you, those, those numbers are getting bigger every day on Liverpool. Uh, Leicester City, 50 to 1. You can now get 10 to 1 on Manchester City uh, winning the title. And Pep Guardiola perhaps backing that up, saying it's now unrealistic to think about catching Liverpool. Prepare, play good, be as close as possible, play the knockouts that's of the Champions League and prepare for next season. Next season we'll be here and hopefully we can do better. Those knockout rounds Pep Guardiola talking about. Uh, Manchester City still the bookies' favourites to win the Champions League. I can't understand that. Can't give me head round that at all. They are still the Champions League. The, the bookies think they are the most likely yeah, why? team. Why? Well, I, I was I mean, going to ask you that. The can bookies you? are very rarely wrong, right? That, right? That's the one fact that we can see. Mm. But how can you have a team that cannot defend against anybody? Not not just good teams, mm. but any team that they play against. How do you think they're going to go all the way and win the Champions League? It mm. makes no sense whatsoever. Well, particularly because they've drawn Real Madrid mm. and they, those odds didn't The difference seem to between shift. Manchester City this season and the Manchester City of last season and the season before is that they've changed defensively. I'm not just mm. talking about the back players. It's they're not playing with that same urgency to win the ball back when they lose possession. Mm. That's what Pep Guardiola has based most of his teams around, winning the ball back quickly when they lose position. They're not doing that at the moment and therefore their back players are being exposed and that could certainly happen against mm. Real Madrid. And, and it's no surprise. Mm. A huge reason for that is Fernandinho's not playing where he's supposed to play. Mm. He's the guy in the middle of the park they kept all that together. Well, on the subject of City defensively, just a wild, crazy idea. Vincent Kompany, mm. Anderlecht, not, not player manager anymore, has been playing. You bring him back for six months? We know. Bolster that. <laughs> <laughs> If that's you can like, convince him. That's like Liverpool asking me to come yeah. back. You, you, said before, like, so. you said before we came on, your head was a bit fuzzy. You've just, <laughs> you've just made sure it is it very is fuzzy, fuzzy now. Fuzzy. Well, but night. they need something, don't they? Well, the yeah, well, they do, but they don't need somebody who is not going to be fit and who will get injured probably ten, ten minutes after he's been on the back field. Fit. Laporte is their best centre-back. He was last right. season. And he needs to be clear who he's going to play in there. Mm. I am feeling a little They don't just need one, by the way. They need two. OK. Uh, that's Ancelotti versus Guardiola, by the way, in the, uh, in the uh, managerial stakes. Meanwhile, Jurgen Klopp uh, saying, uh, by the way, it's not for sure that we will win the Premier League title. We have a chance, obviously, says Jurgen. We've created a good base so far, but we have to fight in each game like crazy. Nothing is easy for us. Uh, uh, Stevie, you were asked... Uh, what you'd rather see, uh, I, I believe, on one of our previous shows, Aha, yes. an unbeaten Liverpool season, an invincible season, or an EPL uh, uh, Champions League double. Well, we've extended that. Shane says, how about an EPL UCL FA Cup treble? Would you rather have that than an unbeaten season? Because you went for the invincible season. Well, Liverpool season. have won a treble before. I was part of Liverpool winning a treble. So these are all things that they've done before. Mm -hmm. Never actually in but the Champions League done, era, though. But what they haven't done... Yeah has gone a whole season undefeated. Mm. And it's so difficult that only one team in history has done it. That's mm. how difficult this is to do. Right. It's something they've never done before as well. They've got, they've if, got league titles. If they could stay got... unbeaten in all those competitions and win everything, that would be <laughs> ideal. But, <laughs> right. but winning, no, but winning not... trophies is, is greater than being unbeaten for the whole season. Yeah. Surely. Surely, Stevie. <laughs> I suppose be, you're, you're, be, you're biased because you've won so many trophies. You're sort of blasé about it. I don't... I don't I, listen, I'm just answer, answering the question. And, and I would certainly swap one of them mm. to go the whole season undefeated. Oh, well, you know how difficult well, that is. It is. I mean, and Arsenal keep saying about they're invincibles. You know, those players are held up in high esteem because well, they're invincible. Go. So yeah. that's what Stevie's trying but to say. But in the modern era, Stevie, the, the Premier League and the Champions League just, just hasn't been done yet as a double in the same season. Not yeah, in the modern I, I, era. But I don't think that makes it any harder reason than it used to be. Listen, at the end of the day, we, we've, got, we've got about eight or nine teams around the world who are just, who are just all-star teams. Right. That wasn't the case many moons ago. Yeah. So you're basically looking at all-star teams now in the Champions League and in the Premier League. So it's best to win the Premier guess... League and the Champions League rather than being undefeated. There we go. He's just <laughs> said it there. <laughs> Is that what he said? That was sort of. Yeah. I'd rather... Because yeah. he said it in the modern era, there's, there's eight teams that can go and win it, right. whereas right. there wasn't in your day. This, let me make this simple. Yeah. You need to Premier make it simple League, for us to. Premier League or Invincibles? Premier League. Mm. Yeah. Even next year, Premier League or Invincibles? Premier League. That's your bread and butter. Yeah. After that, we're talking cup competitions. Mm. Mm. So, I'll give you your cup competitions to take your Invincible. Mm. 
All right. No, I can't make it any clearer than okay. that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.